All right. right. Anybody What's your favorite that? candy? Most candies without gelatin in it. Name one. Nerd Sour Nate, Patch just Kids. Name one. Sour Patch Kids. Okay, those aren't vegan. I already want to kind of click away from the video because she's going to annoy the fuck out of me. We brought together seven vegans. I'm vegan. One is a liar. All right, so based off of the intro, like, based off of the intro that I saw alone, I don't think that guy is a vegan because that'd be like, that'd be like showing your hand at the very beginning of the video. What else, what else am I going to watch it for? The liar survives. He or she wins the entire prize. So basically, Jubilee was like, hey, you know what's really hot right now? Among Us. So we should do that. Let's okay, go. Brandon, yes. what do you eat for breakfast? This Eggs. morning I had buckwheat, buckwheat hot cereal, add almond milk and some water. Okay. Who eats buckwheat in the morning? Like, I know people do, but I'm looking at him. You just answered your question. I'm not going to be able to stand this bitch. Who eats buckwheat in the morning? I know people do. Then what? What? But I'm looking at him and his body language and how he's telling me, and I'm going, you just had buckwheat? <laughs> She's that Christian that judges other Christians when the Bible says, thou shall not judge. Um, I'll be honest. I eat everything on bread. I have to. I'm a recent vegan. I've been vegan for like five months. Everything that came out of his mouth was super random. That's true. He is giving too much detail. A telltale side that someone is lying. Generally, they're giving mad detail that nobody asked for. It's like you've already proven your point. Shut the fuck up. Why are you still talking? And it's because you're trying to shroud the lie in more fucking blankets to keep it warm, to keep it cozy. I go to Taco Bell all the time, swap out the beef and get some beans in there. Don't they use eggs beans. in their, like in their wraps? I hope they don't either I... because then that wouldn't be vegan. I don't know why. No shit. Oh, this chick, bro. You think she hates Asians? She's a xenophobe and she's like, this is the only way that I can express it is by fucking calling this guy out for not being a vegan. Um, why is everyone here a vegan? I'm vegan because I actually moved out here. Because if you I You guys, don't... we have four minutes left. Sorry oh, to interrupt yeah, you, but we have four out. minutes. Sorry. I want to hear from oh, other sorry. people. Sorry. Jalen was just taking up all the time so that I couldn't find any information about anybody. He's the one that's not vegan. And she's like, I know for a fact he's vegan. I want to hear more from the Chinese dude. There ain't no way. They love beef and broccoli too much. I've been vegan for almost three years. I like cold turkey, just like quit it. The more I learned about it. Oh, oh, you're talking about turkeys and they're cold? Not a vegan. The more I learned about it and educated myself, the more I wanted to keep going. I initially went. I like chicks like this when they actually are vegan. Like, hey, I'm just doing me. If you want to eat the baby cow, feel free. I don't think there was a huge like pressing environmental factor. It was just like, I can do it right now, so That's why exactly go back? And it's like being good. So it's almost been like a year. So kind of first thing out of his mouth, out of my mouth, if I was him. All right. So first off, I'm wearing this Patagonia jacket. So clearly, I'm vegan. Ne I uh, became vegan for um, animal cruelty reasons. It's Patty looks like she's on the newsletter sign up for PETA, so I believe her. So I've been vegan for almost 10 years combined. Um, started off when I was 21 years old. I was drinking heavily and I just wanted to be feeling like better in my body. So I took a yoga class, went vegan overnight, went raw vegan for two years, uh, became a raw food chef. I'm a yoga teacher now. She just live in that Austin lifestyle, bro. What is your favorite documentary oh. that helped you go with the? Oh, help me go vegan. I kind of watch like those YouTube ones. Which ones? Like what? What name one? Bitch, you are the only one passionate enough to know the names of these documentaries. I've watched these documentaries and I'm like, damn, that's sad. But that number five at Whataburger goes ham, so put extra bait. I watched the VR from a first person perspective. Ooh, yeah. From you could see them getting cut up. Homie bought an Oculus and said, you know what I want to experience? Cows getting murdered. I'm out here trying to play Batman and Skate 3 and see if it's a vibe. And he's out here fucking murdering baby cows. So you don't eat the meat. You just be wearing that shit. That's barbaric as shit. She had a little more makeup on and she had nail polish on. And Ooh, that's a good point because some things in the beauty industry are not considered vegan. She didn't, she didn't know the names of the fucking documentaries she watched. Do you really think that she knows what products that are out there beauty wise that are vegan? I was like looking for some cues and like what people were wearing and he was wearing like suede shoes. Most like vegans don't really wear leather. There's such thing as faux suede. 
Instead of looking at the Patagonia jacket to confirm he wasn't vegan, you went for the shoes that could have been fake suede. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Nice Bye. to know you guys. Take it easy. I think I was a little bit shy in the beginning. When Aaron was grilling me, um, I just got really nervous. Yeah. Yeah, because she's rocking fucking the real Slim Shady look from 2002. I'd be nervous, too. Eminem from 01 and Madonna had a baby. That's how we get home, girl. I'm more vegan for, like, food-related reasons. Maybe right, like but typically, like, if you're vegan, yeah, then, you know, know, you use all your products that you stuff. I identify as vegan, but I do it more so for food-related reasons, not exactly, because I, like, did it for my health. So I that's actually fully agree with you. Yeah. Do you wear leather? It's interesting. I own leather, but I don't buy leather. It's leather that has been bought years ago that I still have that I feel is kind of, like, wasteful to, like, throw away. The important thing is you don't... Aaron's like, there ain't no such things as halfway crooks. That means there's no such things as halfway vegans, bruh. I get the fact that he went vegan for his fucking health. That doesn't mean he has to have vegan everything. I'm all about homie here. The irony is that Aaron's the one having a cow. I think like in this circle, like there would still be people who like identify themselves as vegan, even if it's like food related or like something else. Like the range, but there's like levels. Yeah, yeah. But I think like the odd man out wouldn't be someone who like. Yeah. Is it the is there irony in the fact that there's now a gender spectrum and most of the and most vegans are probably going to believe in that, but they don't believe that there's a, ve a vegan spectrum. Is that ironic? It's like rain. You guys, yeah, yeah, you guys can ask me questions too. Do you eat honey? <laughs> I actually don't. You see what I'm saying? Wanting to be the center of attention in this situation. That's what's making me think that it's homie in the suit. I think they made me feel like my reason for being a vegan wasn't good enough because it wasn't coming from the same place that they were. I think our boy Patagonia, I think in his eyes, vegan is just like anything related to killing and slaughtering an animal bees you can you can comb for honey from honeycombs and the bees are just fine they just go on and make more honey so to him it's like beekeeping isn't necessarily unethical i feel like the bees are just fucking vibing in the combs and on top of that they're kind of helping keep the bees alive so far you've said that you don't really consider yourself vegan because of the products you use yeah. and then you like eat if a I taco lying, bell i would like go like the extra mile and like lie and like say a lot of stuff but you know like i'm just like yeah, homie's just chilling. He's out here like, yo, I'm vegan in the sense that I don't eat any slain animals. You know, if the bees are vibing and the honey that they make is good, yeah, it's technically not vegan because it's an animal product, but the bees are just fucking trucking along. We're saving them. They're giving us honey. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I try my best. So how to, like, many, be how many years have you been vegan? Oh, no, it's been like less than a year. Actually, the, the fresco style at Taco Bell is supposed to be vegan. I did, he didn't mention that. He said that he got the taco and then he removed everything. And then yeah. he mentioned that later on. Oh, my I God, Aaron, shut the who, like, go to fuck Taco up. Bell like, and, I don't know why you guys are <laughs> oh, just, trying to yeah, tell yeah. me about it. <laughs> yeah. like, Whoa. No, no. I don't know why y'all guys are trying to tell me this. You see the way that I'm dressed? You see the color of my hair? I'm clearly vegan. She's so far up her own ass. It's the errands of the vegan world that make the meat eaters be like, well, I'll eat double the meat f for you and for me. We're canceling you out completely because you annoy the fuck out of me. Anybody What's your favorite candy? My favorite candy? Left Twix, bitch. Most candies without gelatin in it. Nerds. Like name one. Name one. Nerd Sour Make, Patch Kids. One. Sour Patch Kids. Okay, those aren't yeah. vegan. I thought they were. Maybe I'm not a vegan. I don't... <laughs> like, I don't... I don't... <laughs> He's just a chill vegan. He's like, hey, the obvious things I'm going to cut out of my life. If something slips in there, if an eyelash of a cow got into my into my fucking salad somehow, so be it, bruh. This chick is doing the most. She's putting a bad name out there for all people trying to go vegan. If I'm thinking about going vegan, how, how are people going to perceive me? Are they going to perceive me like Aaron? Bring me the porterhouse, extra butter in the mashed potatoes, and make sure you use bacon grease on my asparagus. It didn't. She's so fucking mad, bro. <laughs> she fucking can't stand Brandon. Look at her face. She's like, this dude is an embarrassment to everything that I stand for. 
He's gotta go. She is fucking livid right now. It didn't seem that his ethics and his values were in alignment with the diet because typically... Oh, I got a good question. What if she hits a deer? Is she liable to like jump off a cliff? Typically when you are vegan, everything surrounding you matches that. Brandon's out. We already know, but Brandon's my boy. He can come to Taco Bell with me whenever, and we can talk about this bitch air until we're blue in the face. Hey, bring me some more cinnamon twists. We're going to be here for a little bit longer. I'm not like really a part of the vegan community, I feel like. Exactly, I Brandon. Have one vegan friend. If everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole, you can end the game now. I think those were the obvious ones. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. These two right here. The most punchable people. Wait, so we raise our hand if we think he's still in here? I don't know. <laughs> raise your hand if you think the mole is still in the square. The mole is still here to me. To me, it's still soup, motherfucker, right here. He's way too like, hey, ask me questions to make sure that I'm not the person. You know what I'm saying? When I am the imposter and I done severed off everybody's head, I make sure that I slip through the fucking vents and nobody and I hit the emergency button and blame somebody else. That's him right here. He's got no tasks. He hasn't shot the asteroid field. He hasn't connected the wires. He's just out here running around looking for someone who solo dolo, chopped their head off and then blame it on somebody else. It's suit guy. If the lights turn green, you voted the liar out. If the lights turn red, the liar's still in the box and you lose. Okay, everyone looks nervous, so I feel a little bit more secure in this. Oh, oh, it's ending already. Oh, Dang, oh, dog. Oh, guys. Oh, my God. I found the mole. Oh, my God. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, my God. We were talking. No. I said, I feel like I'm in jail. talking too much. He was obnoxious. Damn, she said he was obnoxious straight for the fucking throat. So upset. Literally whispered to Aaron, I think it's Jalen. I think it's Jalen. So I'm a little mad. I'm like, if I go first, I can speak the most and make it seem like an accident. So I just want time to run out. So it felt good because people got annoyed and they didn't want to hear from me. So they pushed me aside and started talking to everybody else. We knew from the get go. From the very first time he opened his mouth, I was like, it's him. Aaron was so, she was so dead set on being xenophobic that she just like completely ignored all the signs. Damn, so the vegans basically gave him the money to go and buy more meat products. So they funded his terroristic organization. What a time to be alive, unless you're an animal.